Welcome to Beer Untapped with Perry Miller, the podcast. I'm joined by Seth. Hey, welcome, guys. Thanks for finding us on, uh, on, the, on the internet. Now, these shows originally aired on Brookings Radio, but now they're all here for your enjoyment. I hope you like it. There you go. Sit back, enjoy the show, relax. Uh, let us know if you want to see anything on future shows. As we said, the, this comes out live in the Brookings area, but enjoy this archive episode. Beer Untapped with Perry Miller. Welcome to Beer Untapped with Perry Miller. One of the things that has struck me the most on my journey through the world of craft beer is the willingness of brewers to help out and work with one another. The collaborative nature of craft beer this week on Beer Untapped. In that spirit of collaboration, we're joined this week by both Seth Cook and Brant Mathiason, two of the co-owners of Wooden Lakes Brewing in Brookings. Seth says this cooperative nature is something they experienced firsthand. This entire industry has actually been really crazy to see the amount of people who just kind of open up and, and, and talk to you about what's going on, what they're planning, what they're doing. Um, I know when Brant and I first started this, we needed a real crash course on some brewing operations and what do you make money at what do you what could you possibly lose money at how to you know what works what doesn't work and we would travel independently around the country to different breweries and it seemed that if we just mentioned to the proprietor there that we were planning to do something they'd open the doors and just say hey let me show you what this is or here's what i ran into or here's the cool things that we learned or don't ever do this brant also initially surprised by how open brewers were as soon as those brewery owners found out that i had a brewery it wasn't just the the nickel and dime tour it was hey we've got this plumbing thing that we're working on and we're thinking of doing it this way what do you think about that and it's been really cool getting into the back scenes of breweries and seeing that they have the fun times that may be challenging that we've had or, or we see something that, that they've managed to get through and how open they are at sharing those things. Seth says Curl Peak Brewing of Spearfish was especially helpful. You know, we, we said, why are you, you know, why are you helping us out so much here? You know, what, what can we possibly repay you? And there's, and, and they said, there's, there's two things. There's number one is that once you open and, and make beer and, and are part of this industry, you can't suck. Like there's nobody, there's no, nobody wins. If you guys are terrible and you're making a bad name for craft beer, nobody wins. So don't suck. So take our advice. And number two, they said someday someone is going to come to you just like this and ask you for the same thing. You tell them. It was kind of a, you know, almost an obligatory pay it forward for those out in the industry. They licensed their ideas to us on the premise that we licensed them on or paid them on. And and we've done that a number of times. There's a lot of breweries that have come up here that we've been very happy to do, you know, to do brewery tours and even brew days with and stuff. So it's just part of an industry. Brand says Crow Peak was amazing and they have tried to pass it on. Visiting out with Crow Peak and, and their attitude of here is our book. It's wide open. Whatever you want to take out of this, take it and then share it with whoever you want to share it with. And and when we look at that, some of the breweries that have just opened, a couple that come to mind recently with, with the guys at Woodgrain and, and what they've done, you know, they've come to Brookings. We've been down there, and it's been great seeing them start with their plan, and, and now they're a full-fledged brewery in Sioux Falls. The other one that's that's really awesome is the, the Watertown Brewing Company. You know, they've been down here and And the same thing, we've taken those folks behind the scenes to show the nerdy and not so glamorous side of brewing that they're really interested in. Seth says Brow Brothers out of Marshall was also very helpful when Wooden Legs was just getting started. You know, Dustin over there, one one of the first days we were getting started, we went out and did a brew day with him, and he didn't know us from Adam. We had a name, I don't even know if we had a logo, but he brought us in and showed, you know, he said, here's how we do it, and... Da, 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 da. And not just more than a month ago, we we're out there again, and he actually came over here once. And he sat down, and, and, and time, as everybody knows, is, is the most valuable asset you have. You can, go, you can go borrow money from a bank, but you can't borrow time. And he spent the better half of two hours, three hours, maybe yeah. even longer that day, just kind of discussing some of the gotchas that we're running into. And just an awesome resource. And we, we kind of asked him why. And he said because he has Big Brother Breweries in Minnesota that did it for him, too. You know, whether it be the, the Summit or the Shells or, you know, there's Big Brother Breweries that kind of took him and said, here's here's the way you have to do it, too. More when Beer Untapped continues right after this. Winter, spring, summer, or fall. All you got to do is call And I'll be there, yeah, yeah, yeah You've got a friend 
Welcome back to Beer Untapped with Perry Miller as we explore the collaborative nature of the craft beer industry. Seth Cook and Brant Mathiason, co-owners of Wooden Lakes Brewing of Brookings, have told us about the help they received from other brewers when they were just getting started. And that is not unique to the upper Midwest or even to smaller brewers. Seth says even large craft brewers are doing that sort of thing. Stone themselves have actually helped finance breweries. Um, Sam Adams has a has a program to help finance breweries. Now, how when, how what other industry would you find? Like, let's look at the automotive industry. How often would Ford go and finance Tesla or something? You know what I'm saying? These just big examples, but. You know, in in the world of brewing, Samuel Adams, Boston Beer Company, is a big company, and they they take time out of their day, um, and off their bottom line to go help finance other brewers because they understand the importance of it. They help people with hops. They've 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 done they've they've opened up some of their research on yeast and those things. Wooden Legs features several guest taps all the time, featuring beers from other brewers. Something you don't see at every brew pub. We try to keep stuff on tap that maybe not get the same airtime or playtime at other big chain restaurants. Or, you know, we try to get stuff that from the little breweries that are doing it because it's a passion project too. And it's you know, it, it's all for the flavor, but it's awesome to be able to get beers in from you know from Crow Peak and Woodgrain and you know Fernson and you know all of the all of the little breweries in South Dakota. And what I think is awesome is when we get. A, a brewery from three, four states away that is like, we're willing to invest in sending beer to South Dakota, and I am more than willing to jump in and be like, let's get a keg of that or get some of that here. Because th- these guys have great ideas. It's like, wow, this is just a really good beer. It's fun. It's a good style. It's something that we don't just don't get to see every day. And so offering that to people is is just a really really cool thing on my part another aspect of this cooperative nature of brewing is when breweries actually get together and make a beer that hasn't happened a lot yet in south dakota but seth says look for collaboration beers in the not too distant future so we've got kind of our uh, plan of doing some collaboration with a couple of these uh, well-known and some even lesser known breweries around the state and around the region and um Collaborations are fun. Uh, they're, I know they're fun to drink. They're fun to find. They're, they're kind of rare for, for all the consumers out there. But at the end of the day, they're a ton of fun for the brewers to do. You know, it's fun to go to somebody else's facility or, or, or host them here and just talk about the different ways of doing stuff. Cause I know, I know any brewer we collaborate with, we're going to learn something from them. And, and I hope they learn something from us too, or at least something about us, if nothing else finally today it's nearly here saturday is irish breakfast time at wooden lake if you haven't circled the calendar on the 19th do so uh draw a little shamrock and green sharpie on it irish breakfast it is now on its third year it is massive it is wonderful we just got the meats in hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds of rashers and bacons and puddings for those of you that haven't been there, it is a full proper Irish breakfast. Eggs and rashers and puddings and toast tomatoes. and tomatoes and you name Just it. Type in Irish breakfast into your web browser and look at the images. There you go. Let Google do right the work. There. Let them do the work if you want to see it and get hungry. It's going to be awesome. Our staff loves it around here. It is it is one of the hardest days we work all year. Not that we don't not that we slack over their times, but this one's a lot of work. But man, we none of the guys or gals here would miss it for any reason. That's it for this week's show. Until next time, drink local and drink responsibly. Thank you for listening to this archived edition of Beer Untapped with Perry Miller. Feel free to listen to other episodes. And if there's anything you'd like us to talk about on a future show, please let us know. Thanks again.